when I initially looked at that, I thought someone had put a blanking plate on it. You see that? That's solid, dear. That's the way the valve is. Focus on that. That's a solid piece here, but it's the way the valve is, it gets ported in. It goes, there's space here for it to go round the corner. And that's how the thing works. I've just left it connected, I'll just try to see if the thing maybe worked electrically, but it does not move. So it's jammed or something. So that's a, a new EGR valve being installed. As you can see, nice and shiny and new. So let's hope this one works. I went into trouble codes and you can see that I've cleared the trouble codes so we'll start her up so hopefully nothing comes back here oh you feel that it's detecting it's definitely detecting EGR valves opening now getting a bit rough that's good Oh, the idler was guy rough, so let's go into live data. You'd be working far better. That was uh, no great, that at all, when the touch screen grows. So, EGR. There we go, proofs in the pudding. Oh, we're at 18% there. So, exhaust gas risk, duty cycle, 36%. I didn't think we had that before. And... There you can see that things easier actually is moving. 8.5 by whatever that figure is there. So that's good. It's now learned a new value, it was at 0 0.6. We're at 747, but we can go in and make it relearn its new value. So it's maybe worth doing that right enough. Let's see if there's anything else of interest to us here. Oh there you go, but back to our pressure particle difference we're doing to 2 millibar now so that's getting better and you can see that our load is down to 18% and the filter starts dropping all the time I'm a bit confused about see these EGR spec 306 and then mm, this figure here 100 and minus 100 I haven't a clue about that at least we're getting control deviation now so that's, oh, but that's still spec and spec no idea what that means that's still no moving right now Hmm, I'm worried about that. Yep, trouble codes. Please, no. Good, nothing. Brilliant, so I think that's good, but I think you can go into adaptions. Let's see. Yeah, and documented adaption, so. EGR. Let's try this. So. I think what happens here, the turbo spools up and everything like that, so. So we'll just go set new value. Oh no, I don't know what that means. I don't want that. Let me see. Well, let's go back. Is it basic settings, would it be in that? Documented basic settings. EGR. Ignition on, engine running. Activate the basic, then firmly press and hold both the brake pedal and the throttle pedal. Foot on the brake. Okay. On off. I've got my foot. You can see that thing's flashing there. Hello everybody, I'll give you an update where I am. <laughs> I forgot to mention in the first video I had replaced the EGR valve, so I was went into basic settings, I wanted to reset it. But the Autel tool or any, uh, the Veris or that never, never put the thing up to 1400 RPM, but it seems to have resolved itself, it was a bit sluggish, so but it's going okay now. So you can actually see here under this thing, EGR. When I rev the thing, the duty cycle's dropped to zero and obviously 
the EGR valve was shut, but it'd actually be nice to have a PID that showed you the voltage. But I've neither got it on the hotel or on the snap on, but you can see the it's shut in there anyway, so maybe it did do the adaptions, I'm not really sure. But uh, it seems to be going okay now and plenty of power. So if anybody's got a uh, has done an adaption, this is a 2007-2008 Audi A4 2 litre diesel they can uh, chime in in the comments but I really did think when you were doing it you had to get up to about 1400 RPM but this thing never moved anyway cheers hello everybody it's me again the pest back again tonight so <laughs> I begin to wonder if this new EGR well new I got it from Amazon so I only paid £62, maybe that's telling a story, I should have went to Dingbro and just paid the money, but anyway. So you're driving along and you can actually hear that EGR valve, it's, oh it's actuating back and forth, it's like, uh, is it hysteresis they call it, it's overcompensating, you can actually see that in the scan tool. So if you go EGR specified, it's one eighty five percent but look what it's actually getting, it's going 100, then it's going 2 and it's back and forward, it, it never stops moving. And you can see even the the duty cycle is given that, so why is it doing that? Is that because it's not been adapted? Now, my good friend Steve for Simply Diagnostic called me and he said sometimes you're better off plugging in the lead, so I done that and I even disconnected it from the Bluetooth, it's still exactly the same and uh, the other thing I've got to say, if you go into, I'll show you the coding too, it doesn't seem to give me that options Coding to, I mean, I've never been in here in my life, but it seems to just give me give me these options for cruise control and everything like that. So nothing else. So that seems to be the only options in that one. No, unless there's other codes you put in, I'm not sure. So I'll just escape back out of that. Right after a bit, hoo ha. I've finally got it to complete the test. So, I'm frightened to do it again, but what I had to do was press the brake and the clutch, let go of the clutch and press the accelerator. It then went up to 1400 RPM and then it completed the test. So we'll take it a test drive and see how we get on. Now this is the old DGR valve, I can see what's wrong with this. See there, the, the plastic teeth. They've all been stripped out, so uh, move that away for there. It's just at the top of the where it turns the spindle there. Let's see, and it's not got any teeth, so that's a problem there. So there's the, the motor up there that actually does the turn. It's no seized. It it turns no bother. And the other thing I was going to show you was so that that cap goes over the top of it. So that goes, these two, see these two spike bits, that's the positive and negative terminals for the motor. But the other bit there, that's the, for the the position of it, so it must be like Hall Effect. So that white bit there, it, that doesn't turn, that stays static. So it's that bit in the middle there it fits into, so I'll show you. So that goes in like that, so that must be a, a Hall Effect signal, so it knows where it is. For from say zero to five volts, quite clever. But as you can see, that one's a, a bit mucky. But that's what done it in was the teeth. Plastic teeth are gone. So I've abandoned abandoned this project for tonight because it's still no going right. So after doing the basic settings, which completed, I said uh, that EGR valve is still opening. When I was driving along the road, I disconnected it and it went far better. So it is the EGR valve and I begin to think it's faulty. So I'm going to try a new one tomorrow from Dingbro and I'll let you know how I got on. Uh, but if anybody else has got any other ideas or they've been through this before. Oh, the last thing, I've just disconnected the battery. I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes and see how I got on with that. Anyway, thanks for all your help. Cheers.